guys. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Greetings, and welcome to the 2022 J.F. Webb High School graduation ceremony. You may be seated. Please allow me to introduce distinguished guests and staff on our stage. Christina Kibler, Chief Junior Marshal. Mr. Dana Small, Senior Counselor. Mrs. Blondina Small, Assistant Principal. Mr. David Richardson, Chair of the Granville County Board of Education. And Dr. Lisa McLean, our Superintendent. I'd also like to welcome and recognize our GCPS board members who are with us. Ms. Ethel Anderson, Dr. Tom Houlihan, Ms. Amanda Lebrecht, Dr. Gregory McKnight, Ms. Glenda Williams, and Mr. Leonard Peace Sr. I'd also like to welcome our county commissioner, Chairman Dr. Tony Kozart, Vice Chairman Russ May, Commissioner Zalotis J, Mayor Jacqueline Sargent, Mayor Pro Tem, Patricia Fields, and Commissioner Teresa Gilred. Any other elected fit officials that are present, please stand to be recognized. Finally, I'd like to recognize the distinguished district leaders joining us. Dr. Stan Winborn, Bill Graham, Vicki Hines, Jamar Perry, Angela Salisbury. Would all active military and veterans please stand to be recognized. Thank you for your service to our country. We would like to recognize our junior marshals who have earned the top 11 grade point averages in their graduating class. 
These students serve our graduation diligently, and we thank them for their help and honor them for their academic achievement. Will these students please stand as their names are called? Our 2022 junior marshals are Christina Kibler, Armani Bass, Bo Burnett, Jada Daniel, Bryson Matthews, Carly McGee, Megan Newton, Daniel Rueda Abuitis, Kaylee Stovall, Israel Thorpe, Cameron Wilkerson, Jamari Williams, and Kelsey Williamson. At this time, I ask all faculty and staff to please stand and remain standing as they've worked tirelessly and dedicated their time, their hearts, and their energy to get to this day with our seniors. Please join me in giving a round of applause to all of our incredible staff. As we celebrate this incredible group of young people and their accomplishments, please remember that every graduate's moment is special. As an act of courtesy, we ask that you please hold your applause until each award recognition and wait until the last name is called during the presentation of graduates to allow us to give each student the recognition and respect they deserve. Please silence your cell phones and refrain from using any noise-making devices that may distract from the ceremony. Please remain seated during the program as the graduates recess out of the stadium. There are staff members and law enforcement officers throughout the stadium to assist you in case of emergency. I would like to give special thanks to Granville County Maintenance Department, staff, and volunteers that assisted in the graduation setup. I'd also like to thank our senior advisors, Karen Harshbarger and Leslie Magnanti, for their hard work to ensure that this ceremony is extremely special for our seniors and their families. And finally, my words to the senior class of 2022. Graduation symbolizes the completion of this portion of your educational journey. Although it is a momentous occasion and we're proud of this accomplishment, please know that your educational journey never ends because life keeps teaching. You will learn more about yourself and the world around you than you ever imagined through experiences moving forward. Don't be afraid to take chances and search for new experiences that will help you learn and grow. Everyone is only given one life. The more you learn, the more you can do, and the more opportunities you create to make your life what you want it to be. There's a poem in my office that serves as a daily reminder. Today is a new day, a new beginning. It has been given to me as a gift. I can either use it or throw it away. What I do today will affect tomorrow. I cannot blame anyone but myself if I do not succeed. I promise to use this day to the fullest by giving my best, realizing it can never come back again. This is my life and I choose to make it a success. All of you will continue your education and learning at a college or university, community college, technical or trade school, the military, or the workforce. Life will present many new challenges, pressures, regardless of the direction you continue to pursue. It will force each of you to make decisions. Even though they may seem small, they will influence your future. Sometimes you'll make the wrong decisions. The lessons that you learn from those decisions are often more valuable than if you made the right choice. What you do now influences tomorrow. So think about where you want to be tomorrow, who you want to be tomorrow, and make decisions that will get you there. I know that as time moves forward, things happen, things change, and we work to continuously improve, but we also try to recognize significant moments in our lives. So as you say your thank yous and your goodbyes today, know this is only one of many significant moments in your lives. During my short time in Granville County, I've personally observed the pride and loyalty that people have for J.F. Webb. Everywhere I turn, there's another proud warrior alum, from the county commissioner to the person that built the picnic tables in the courtyard to the lady that did my taxes in Raleigh. Even though your time as a J.F. student at J or at J.F. Webb High School has come to a close and you're all moving forward to bigger and better things, you do not graduate from family. The Webb family stretches far and wide and continues to have a positive impact on Oxford and beyond. You are forever a part of the Webb family as a proud, soon-to-be J.F. Webb alum. Congratulations to the class of 2022. At this time, we would like to welcome school board chair David Richardson. Thank you, Dr. Hugo. Good morning, J.F. Webb graduates. 
On behalf of the Board of Education, I want to be the first to congratulate you on the journey that you have completed thus far. Over the past 13 or so years, you've learned many things. Parts of speech, formulas, maybe how to co color inside the lines, or maybe dates and times for that history exam. However, you have also learned how to be an imperfect but vital community of personal growth. A community that has experienced many things, such as cramming for tests, the joys and heartbreaks of high school, COVID, basketball and baseball games, and hopefully to be better humans. As you've traversed this planet for the last 17 or 18 years, you've learned a lot about who you are and what you're about. Tim Cook of Apple said, you should make decisions big and small each and every day based on who you are and what you believe. These are not static things and we would not want them to be. You will learn more and grow more with each passing year as all of us do. But there are foundational values that make up your personality and your character. You will use those to make decisions. As you begin the next leg of your journey, whether it's a career, college, military, or perhaps you're still trying to figure out what this path looks like, I would encourage you to remember the lessons you have learned, the people you have met, and the experiences that you've had. Take each of those and combine them to make the world a better place than what you have found it. Never forget your roots. We want you to come back here to Granville County, whether it's to visit or whether it's to invest in our community. But no matter what the platform is that you are given after this day, we want to make sure that you reach back to the next generation and bring them along. Allison Felix, one of the most decorated Olympians in history, said recently at a graduation, remember, your voice has power. You have to use your voice even if it shakes. There are times when you will ask for change and there are times that you'll create change. No matter what, live a life of purpose. So I leave you with this. Congratulations, warriors, you deserve it. Do your very best and when you leave here today, make sure that you live a life of purpose. Again, on behalf of the Board of Education, who is very proud of you, we are excited to celebrate this day with you as a Granville County Public School graduate. Thank you. It is with great pleasure that I present Thomas Wilkinson, son of Bill and Rebecca Wilkinson, as the salutatorian of the class of 2022. Thomas will be attending North Carolina State University in the fall. Let me start out by saying congratulations to the class of 2022. We have come a far way over the last 13 years. But personally, I want to take this speech in a different direction other than talking about the past. Today is the day that we start to leave the past behind and start setting off for the greatness that we all can achieve. And I want you to notice how I worded that. I didn't say maybe, think, or any other type of word that could relate to possibility. I said that we can. And the, we can because everyone who is graduating today, no matter if you're last in the class or first, shows that you have the potential to become something great by achieving what today is all about. As a class, it is time for us to put aside laziness and procrastination to start working towards goals that we may already know or even goals that we don't even know that we'll be embracing. And some of you may be asking why seeing everyone in the class succeed is important to me. The reason comes from a quote that I heard years ago years ago, which was implanted in my memory. Those words were, that only with a worthy rival, one can reach their fullest potential. And you may wonder how this saying relates to everyone's success. And to put it simply, from today forward, I see all of you as my rivals. 
I understand that the word rival may have some negative connotation, but this is a rivalry built off of gratitude and acceptance, not hatred. Because from now on, when I see one or all of you being more successful throughout the future to come, I will use everyone's success as my motivation to do my best to pass you guys, and I wish to see you all do the same. It is time for us as the class of 2022 to start building merit in whatever it is we wish to do. It is time for us to achieve the position in society we all know we can achieve within this meritocracy that we live in. So as all of us leave here today, there is one thing from this brief speech I hope every single one of you understands, is that no matter what, success is not something that is given to most people. Success is what is achieved through hard work and dedication for the craft that you guys will bring to us pinnacle. So now that we are all rivals, our success is imminent. It is my honor this evening to present the principal's awards to students who have exhibited outstanding character traits during their years at Webb. These traits include dedication, perseverance, integrity, self-discipline, and leadership. These seniors please rise and stand to be recognized and remain standing until all names have been called. 2022 JF Webb Principal Awards go to Alexandra Maldonado Palcastre, Shakira Bullock, Sophia Serba Davis, Lucas Murray, Faith Royster, Grace Lynn Wilson, Fawaz Azara, Jordan Hargrove, Jaheen Hartsfield, and Ashanti Downey. Please join me in congratulating these students. At this time, Abigail Humphreys will sing A Million Dreams.
special things I compile Each one there to make you smile On a rainy day They can say, they can say it all sometimes They can say, they can say I've lost my mind I don't care, I don't care, so call At this time, I would like to recognize students of merit. Students of merit are identified as those students who have at least a 3.75 GPA for the school year. All students who have achieved student of merit for the school year are indicated in the program. The students who have received student of merit for seven years are indicated by italics in the program. For these students, please stand when your name is called and remain standing. Austin Carroll, William Harshbarker, Abigail Humphreys, Alexandra Maldonado Castro, Connor Rice, Sophia Davis, and Thomas Wilkinson. Let's give them a big hand. You may be seated. A, a Grandma County Public Schools Latin Honors Diploma represents exemplary completion of all state and local course requirements. All students receiving Latin Honors were presented medals. At this time, we would like to recognize the Latin Honor graduates, those students earning a GPA between 3.75 and 3.99 have received a cum laude distinction and are indicated in your program. Will these students please stand and be recognized when I call your names? Maya Arrington, Logan Bowen, Lucas Merritt, Alyssa Rail, Faith Royster, Jalen Simmons, and Graceland Wilson, let's give him a hand. You may be seated. <laughs> Students earning a GPA between 4.0 and a 4.24 have received a magnum cum laude distinction and are indicated in the program. Will these students please stand to be recognized? Shakira Bullock, <laughs> Justin <laughs> King, and Kira Marable. You may be seated. Finally, all students earning a GPA of 4.25 or greater are indicated in the program and have been de designated to receive a summa cum laude distinction. Will these students please stand and be recognized when I call your name? Austin Carroll, William Harshbarker, Abigail Humphreys, Alexandra Maldonado Castro, Caleb Nutt, Connor 
Rice, Sophia Serba Davis, Trinity Schwartz, and Thomas Wilkinson. Let's give them a big hand. It is my honor to present Abigail Humphreys, the daughter of Joseph and Jennifer Humphreys, as the valedictorian of JF Webb High School, class of 2022. Abigail will be attending the University of North Carolina at Charlotte in the fall. Welcome to all the families, friends, and faculty joining us to celebrate the class of 2022. I'm going to be completely honest with all of you. I've never been one to speak in front of crowds. The majority may be thinking, isn't this the same girl that just sang in front of hundreds of people? Well, yeah, she's the one with the bright red hair. Look, it's hard to miss, I'll admit. But I've always been told I came off as a confident person. Whether that's because of my ability to spread my gift or because of how I carry myself. Unlikely, because I can be a little shy from time to time. I don't know. But since we're being completely open here, I'd like to let you in on a little secret. I'm the exact opposite of confident. How ironic is it that the class valid Victorian and entertainer struggles with hesitancy and insecurities? Over these past four years, I've come to know so many beautiful people on a deeper level, all with different backgrounds and stories. Some of these individuals I've grown up with since kindergarten and the rest I've met along the way. Yes, I'm talking about you, class of 2022. But one thing's for certain that we all have in common, any takers, our imperfections, heaven. No matter how perfect someone may seem, we are all human. No matter how high your GPA is, how white your teeth are, how many touchdowns you scored last season, or how many flawless pitches you've thrown, we all doubt ourselves from time to time. Van Gogh once said, if you hear a voice in your head within you say, you cannot paint, then by all means paint, and that voice will be silenced. I believe that all of us as people should step out of our comfort zones despite our fears. Throughout high school, I've learned so much not only about myself, but about others around me. I've learned to become more open and honest with how I'm feeling. As someone who strives for perfection, this spot is, of course, rewarding, but something inside of me almost didn't want it. I didn't want to take on such a high title. Maybe I was scared of having to seem perfect. And that's why I'm here to tell everyone that I'm not. As many years as it's taken for me to accept that, I finally take pride in saying that I'm not a perfect person. One thing I ask my class today is to not let these things define you or hold you back. No matter how hard times get, no matter how bad you want to give up the fight, never give up in life. Those dreams you have are obtainable despite those voices that flood your head. Those voices are lying to you. These voices have taught us that any sort of imperfection is a flaw. A phrase that I've always loved is beautifully imperfect. And I believe that that encapsulates each and every single one of us here today. You have the power to face that negativity and conquer it. So today, I'm conquering my fear of public speaking. A fear that is rooted in the possibility of humiliation a fear that is deeply rooted in insecurities. I want each and every single one of you to stand up to your own podium starting today and speak from your heart. Shout from the top of your lungs and defeat the things holding you back from the bright futures I see ahead. Thank you and good luck to the class of 2022. Good morning, parents, students, and guests. It is now time for that precious, precious moment for which you've waited. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to present the J.F. Webb High School 2022 candidates for graduation. <laughs> Maya Destiny Arrington. Kevin Govea Ortega. Fawaz Nyla Azara. Woo! 
Jasmine Jamaya Barnett. Ariana Zanaya Janae Buma. Cameron Terrell Blackwell. Andrea Lynette Boone. Logan Scott Bowen. Brianna Janae Bowens. Jocelyn Destiny Brandon. Dorena Leandra Brooks. Marcavius Tyshawn Bullock. Shakira Renee Bullock. Javon Omarius Bullock. Christian Andrew Bush. Nuvea Moray Bouvel. Austin Tyler Carroll. Whitney Renee Clayton. Sebastian Caraway Combs. Tyler Donnell Cooper. Corey Jamel Davis Jr. Alyssa Rochelle Donahue Christ. Ashanti Melissa Downey. Jada Marie Downey. Larissa Dunn. Amaya Lakani Edmonds. Anusi Ahmed Osama Elkati. Kaylee Summer Engelbright. Angie Fabian Alcanta. Lanaya Monet Fields. Harley Elizabeth Fields. Danielle Lauren Glover. Denaya Lachey Green. Kashawn Demetrius Green. Josiah Sanaria Hargrove. Jordan Micah Hargrove. Dejon Nakeem Harris. Reginald Tyrone Harris Jr. Janiah Denise Harris. Xavier Anthony Harris. William Park Hoshbarger IV. Jaheem Laquan Hartsfield. Alondra Nicole Henderson. Isabella Samantha Hernandez. Victor Edu Hernandez. Randy Josh, Josh Hernandez Ovando. Monica Herrera Sanchez. DeAndre Jason Hester. Tamaya DeAnche Hester. Abigail Jean Humphreys. Akeem Isaiah Hunt. Madeline Marlene Arenas Leonez. Donnell Jefferson, Jr. <laughs> Caleb Todd Jeffries. Kobe Talik Jones. Layla Teresa Jones. Justin David Jones. Tanisha LaSalle Jones. Justin Tyler King. 
George Kitchell III. Frederico Dominique Landeros. Torian McCoy Lyons. Alexandra Jodine Maldonado de Castro. Kira Danae Marable. Victoria Anastasia Markham. Kaya Tamia Marrow. Shania Carice Marshall. Alicia Noel Marshburn. Mona Tama Muhammad. Lucas Everett Murray. Alyssa Tatiana Del Newcomb. Kimaja Tashia Nunn. Caleb Russell Nutt. Malena Folly Orbando Picastro. Deontay Tamel Overby. Malik Damon Owens. Keontae Taquan Perry. Omari Nadre Perry. Alyssa K. Rail. Jabari Samaj Reed. Connor Lee Rice. Centavius Daniel Richards. Christopher Peyton Raleigh. Faith Carles Royston. Angel Gabriel Sabata Vedenquez. Manuel Antonio Cies Canada. Stephen Sentent. Santos Macario, <laughs> Amelia Jade Sawyer, <laughs> Sophia Ann Serva Davis, <laughs> Anjanini Rosalind Silva, <laughs> Anjanini Rosalind Silva, <laughs> Jalen Devante Simmons, <laughs> Jordan Andrew Simmons, <laughs> Caitlin Nicole Singleton. Mackenzie Love Small. Damian Lamont Swan. Trinity Lee Swartz. Caleb Michael Talley. Tanisha Monet Terry. Tania Lavette Thorpe. Bryson Jabari Thorpe. Madison. Elizabeth Tidwell. Haley Blair Tickner. Emily Therese Perdomo. Taeda Nisa Tucker. Jonathan Vieta. Shayla Nicole Ward. Kevin Raquan Wilkerson. Thomas Pike Wilkinson. Kobe Amon Williams. Dasani Nicole Williams. Amaya Takia Williams. Iceland Lindsay Wilson.
are vested in me by the great state of North Carolina and by the authority granted to me by our illustrious Granville County Public Schools Board of Education, and after conferring with your principal, I hereby declare you graduates from Granville County. You may begin the music. Congratulations.